Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to MPAI Lab. I hope you're doing great. Um, we're going to push off the JSON prompt. Apparently there was a few glitches. So we're going to deal and play with Meta AI. Meta AI is free, so it's on Facebook. And um, it does very well if you're new. And it seems like a lot of people still are not prompting. So we're going to play with that. I'm going to share my screen. All right, so you, you can sign into your Facebook. And then on the left-hand side, you're going to see Meta AI. You're going to click on that, okay? It's kind of cool how I have been playing with this. You're going to have new chat, the vibes, and then you're going to create, and then all your history is here. Before we do that, okay, over here, this is where you're going to put your actual prompt. So remember, prompting is speaking to the AI, okay? And down here, you have different creations, uh, you know, you can continue, you can look at it, but what we're going to do is we're going to start a new chat. If you click here, it's still going to bring you right here. So what do you want to prompt? I've had, um, been thinking about this and we're going to do a fantasy, um, warrior portrait. Okay. So this is a female fantasy warrior standing on a mountain cliff at sunrise wearing black and gold armor with a flowing red cape very cinematic lighting and realistic style okay here's a few tips that i want to tell you about meta ai okay first of all tip one is free play with it okay second tip is a meta ai does it's very strong when it comes to adjectives color mood style so you have if you can't figure out what an adjective is it's the color the mood and the style you know try different variations like anime style oil painting cyberpunk you know look um you know realistic a realism style you know those kind of adjectives okay so once you prompt you're going to actually hit the blue arrow and send it off and then in a couple minutes or seconds, depending on how busy, um, you know, this meta AI is, you're going to come back and you're going to have four different results, um, which is really came out pretty well. It's not bad. Remember, we have a female um, fantasy warrior standing on a um, cliff with the red. Okay. So if we click on here, so this is actually not bad if you're looking for that one. Okay, the second one, the lighting is a little bit different, uh, which is fine, but I, I like that one. And this one, I don't care for her to standing straight, but it's still not bad, you know, the back is okay. And then you have a different one. This is sort of up close. So for the color, you know, the mood, it's beautiful, okay? So that's why I say, you know, play with the prompting. Okay. Now we're going to go and, um, you know, say we want to do, yeah, it's just easier with new chat. The next one is going to be a cozy pastel room. Okay. And you can go to chat GPT to help you with the prompting. You just got to tell what you want. Okay. So, we want a cozy pastel bedroom with fairy light, soft pillows, plants, a window with morning sunlight, you know, drawn in an anime illustration style clean background. Okay. So try to use the mood, you know, you want to do anime illustration, 3D or realistic photos. Okay. Those are good tips. So hit the blue button and hit send. Once again, it always gives you four. Okay. So remember tip strong adjectives. What kind of style do you want? You know, um, what kind of mood do you want? What kind of, um, you know, lighting do you want? So this is very nice. So we got a cozy pastel bedroom with fairy light, soft pillows, so they came out pretty well, you know, um, let's click on this one. The first one, very beautiful like that anime style. 
we can click on that very nice if you're looking for that for even you know you can use canva and edit this if you want to this is kind of cool beautiful i like that one too so all four is actually very bright you know very beautiful so once again you know this is great if you don't know how to prompt it's going to teach you how to prompt okay and then we can go to new chat and then there's another one that i did okay so we're going to copy paste so we're going to go for a neon futuristic city street at night with glowing signs flying cars and reflections on wet pavement very cinematic ultra realistic so you want to you know add you know lighting cues like a golden hour neon glow soft you know moonlight you know more atmosphere okay so hit the blue arrow which is send and then we should have four once again okay i like this for beginners because this will help you um you know feel better that you are prompting so meta ai did pretty good on this all right so we have a neon futuristic city street light which we do with glowing signs okay flying cars that one flying flying cars uh wet pavement cinematic ultra realistic lights so let's see well this one is not flying so we don't see any flying up in here all right sometimes it doesn't pay attention but it's okay it's still not a bad um ai it just needs maybe more um uh, a little bit more training so yeah no flying cars it's okay but the reflection is amazing so that's not bad um a lot of people do have issues with this ai but for you all i feel is great okay when you go to vibes once again you can actually um see different people work here you can like it always support other people's work by the way I think this is very beautiful you know you go in here you can follow the person if you want to so you can continue look like this person has you know uh, 531 followers 824 remix inspired remix means somebody else is doing it and he's one of using the same prompt but he changed like minor things okay so what do you think of meta AI. I think it's really, really great um, to help you all prompt. Um, there's three things that I do want to point out for, um, you know, ChatGPT. Okay. And I'm trying to get to it. Okay. Let me share my screen. All right. We're back to CT or ChatGPT. Okay. A few new things that you all need to um, know. So once again, we go to new chat, it's going to bring us here and this is where you're going to prompt. Okay. Remember what is prompting? Talking to the AI, you're going to input and then it's going to give you the actual output. Okay. So a few new things, you have different apps you can use inside of CT or ChatGPT. Okay. You can do your booking.com, your travel, you can do Canva, you know, you can make invitation cards, birthday cards planners, um, book covers, YouTube banners, anything and everything that Canva, you know, that you do in Canva can be done in here. Okay. You can do, um, Corsica, Expedia, once again, book, everything, and then your fig, um, Figma. Another thing, if you hit the at sign, okay, Spotify is in here. So basically, if you uh, want to look for um, different types of music recommendation or even build your Spotify list, now you don't have to go outside of actual, you know, ChatGPT. You can come here. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Just hit the at sign or just, you know, type it. But another thing that you can do, okay, is 
on the left hand, hit explore. Explore is really cool, okay? Same thing that I told you is actually here. These are the features, so this is the new app, okay? Here, you can go and check out what is trending in the actual community. You know, you got school, you got image creator. I highly suggest that. You can hit more. And then once again, you have, you know, um, different uh, ChatGPT teams, writing. It's a great resources and it's free. Trust me, you should be going here. Now, we're gonna talk just a little about Jason. That's J-S-O-N, okay? So Jason prompt is kind of cool, I'm gonna show you. But in here, you have different creators that have shared and created different Jason prompts, okay? Jason prompts are kind of cool because they read different. They are very, very different for a person who don't know what a Jason prompt is, okay? What is a J-S-O-N? What is a Jason prompt? I'll tell you. It's like, you know, it's basically where a computer talks and share information. So it's a way that we can understand it, you know, and the computer can understand it, you know? It's like writing facts with a very, very specific or title list um both the humans and robots can read okay so just imagine this it's a big backpack or a large backpack or a special magic box maybe i'll go with the magic box okay so inside this magic box there's pockets okay and each pocket has to be labeled because remember you want to be organized okay now since it has that label inside of that there's specific items okay that's inside this, okay? So that's how, in simple form, that's the best way I can, you know, explain this, of how a JSON prompt works. So each label is a key, and each item has a value. Remember, it's this magical box, okay? Or a backpack if you want to, okay? For example, if you want to, um, you know, have a story, her name is Hannah, her favorite color is pink and she's 10 years old okay well how are we going to tell a computer and how are we going to bring that image to life okay the jason prompt is going to go well what's her name well her name is hannah what's her favorite color well it's going to be pink what's her age 10 years old so the computer you know read it that way but us humans and okay her name is hannah her favorite color is pink and she's 10 years old so you kind of understand how that is okay and i'm going to show you basically what a json prompt look like and we're going to run it next time okay and it's really cool i just have to find one prompt let's see where are you all right this i should be ready but i am not i'm actually just going to show you what a json prompt does okay basically a json prompt is gonna bring the magic to life, okay? And there's a lot going on, okay? So I created a video, if you watched um, last week, of a crystal city where this guy is walking on a crystal path, okay? So let me share my screen again. I had to do it three times because just to let you know, I had to widen the path. So it's only eight seconds. This is on Gemini PO3, here we go. He's actually walking in the right direction. He slipped a little bit, that's great. But if you notice that, you know, there's a lot going on. So he's walking, then I've got a crystal over here, there's a bridge, okay? So this is, um, a, okay, a Jason prompt, J-S-O-N, brings everything to life. So um, I will show you more next week. And we're actually going to do something that is that I want to show you let me show you my city all right there's also something I wanted to show you you can actually edit in um, meta and I'm going to show you it's very simple let me share my screen okay so we're back in meta AI okay 
So I created this particular elf, okay? If you notice, very nice smile, which is really great. But here's the flaw with majority of the AI. It's getting better. They have issues with fingers, okay? If you notice, there's too much. Too much, too much, too much. You can actually edit it, you know, make him have four fingers and one thumb, which I did. You tell exactly what you want, and you've noticed now pretty normal. So you can edit what is, you know, what is wrong. Notice, remember here, he has what, two, four, five, and a thumb, and you know, us humans, four finger and a thumb. So you can actually edit pretty well on Meta AI, okay? I'm not a spokesman for Meta AI, but I feel as, you know, young pups, when it comes to prompting, this is a very, this is actually going to be very good for you. And um, I'm not going to show you the video because the video is kind of scary. Um, certain emotions in Meta, Meta AI needs to do a little bit better, okay? But once again, this is just an update uh, regarding ChatGPT. We're going to do adjacent prompting like, um, you know, maybe tomorrow. And then please practice your um, prompting through Meta AI. And don't forget, guys, to go here on Facebook. We are growing and we're so young. We're such a young channel anyways. Don't forget to just join. It's free. I give you a whole bunch of different prompts on here and it's just going to give you more confidence. Okay. I am working on an actual kit of exactly what you need since everybody is so afraid of what to do. What should I do? So I'm just going to tell you exactly what you need. You need ChatGPT and these are the three links and here's the prompt. Keep practicing. Okay. Once again, stay kind. Don't forget to hydrate and I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Bye-bye.